Why should I care about privacy more than I already do today? I'm a student. I don't care. I got nothing to hide. Well, the scary thing is, with your personal information, the bad guys can impersonate you. They can take your personal identity and play Tinder on your behalf. <laughs> well, maybe that's not too bad. But what if they made a fake bank account for purposes of money laundering? When one of those three-letter organizations come and knock on your door, who's going to have your back? Well, you guessed it. No one. You're on your own, buddy. Privacy is important. When you gave consent to your doctor, you can use my health records for your research. Guess what happens next? Your personal health information will be shared among their research collaborators. But fortunately, medical researchers have their own way of protecting your privacy, and that is with data sharing agreements that spell out what data can be shared, by whom, and when. But the thing with these data sharing agreements, just like any other legal document, they're complex and convoluted. And honestly, who in their right mind would read a document of dozens of pages long? That doesn't even help with their research. Certainly not your doctor or the PhD folks. So my research has been focused on making these data sharing agreements electronically enforceable, achieved through modeling these data sharing agreements with architectures and frameworks, such that these frameworks can then be programmed into the computers. Once in the computer, these architectural framework can then make sure that the researcher doesn't break any rules outlined in the original data sharing agreement. And we've come up with a beautiful architecture built on top of the same sophisticated architecture that makes the magic of virtual currencies possible, such as the Bitcoin. We're currently in the process of refining this technology and hoping to implement it in Canada and beyond to ensure the privacy of our health information in medical research. Thank you.